guys don't know me or if you're new you're probably wondering why am I saying these things that I'm gonna say but I really it's hard for me to say this but I really don't want to go on anymore I'm thinking hard I'm thinking rationally I'm thinking with my heart I'm thinking with my brain with my soul and Everything is just telling me that it's my time to go and you don't know my situation some of you know more than others, but You know First I lost my grandma. I lost my mom Which was my rock. I'm sorry about it Of course, there's gonna be fucking messages whenever I speak it gets me angry. Third, this year is just awful. It's dark. It's it's just the worst ever. I can't live without my mom, guys. I know you think, yeah, but you got your dad and your sister. Believe me, they're nothing like my mom. My dad never asks me anything. I'm nothing to him. My sister tries, but she just can't cope with work and with people around us. I mean, my dad and me. I'm just, I'm just thinking, do I really want to go on? And I have these episodes of anger and depression where nobody wants to help me I just tried with the doctors and everything nobody just nobody cares and I'm not talking about you it's the here guys but I mean I just I just can't do it anymore I just can't I'm trying to think of the reason to go on but there is no reasons I the only reason I'm here is because of my cat, and that's sad. Not because of my art, because of my cats. Because if I go, my cats will die without me. I know, because two of them are so connected to me. And one of them was my mom's, and I love him, and you know him as Hans. The cat, he's yellow. I don't know, I'm just talking these stupid things because people think I'm making fun of, you know, myself and I'm just goofing around, but if you want to go and look what I've been through this year, just go and watch videos, you get hundreds and you'll see that I'm just, I'm just not okay anymore, I'm just not, I mean, I'm crying every day. I'm just thinking about death and I'm thinking about finishing things but I got no willpower to do that or strength. I'm weak and that's horrible. I can't even do that. I'm just thinking out loud because if I go live guys I know nobody will be here. Nobody cares. Nobody. I mean, there is few people here on YouTube that really, you know, talk to me and... But most people are just like, yeah, right, laughing probably, you know. I'm sick, guys, I'm so sick, I'm, I have problems with my kidney, as you know, with my kidneys. I have problems with asthma, allergies, I have problems with my my, oh, I'm just gonna say it with my <sighs> testicle, I had cancer there and with my urinary tract and with my I don't know how you could say it I got, it doesn't matter I'm just I'm just done, I can't do, do it I mean, and this virus thing it's just getting to me it's just so depressing to live and we, we have no money anymore. I am selling paintings and giving as much as I can, but I have to pay for my studio. I have to do so many things for myself. And 
it's called being grown up and I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm a grown up and I did my things, but when it comes to emotional things, I'm just nobody. I'm nothing. I'm just a shame of myself. I don't like to watch myself. I don't like to look at myself. I think I just, I think I'm just a disgusting person. I think I'm not a good person. I think that's why I have no friends. I think that's why nobody wants to be with me. But people that do know me or not know me come to my studio to buy art and stuff. They're all fascinated when they meet me. But is it really me? I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore and that's horrible. Because when my mom was here I was I was so I was so thankful for everything and I was so angry at her and she was so angry at me. We were fighting but we loved each other and now I feel unloved and whenever you say you know or just go and compare me to other people you don't you know I'm not like other people I'm totally different you can't even know how different I am if you don't know me and I'm so different my brain works, I don't know, I'm, I am I need rewiring, I don't know, I think I need to reach that. And I can't calm down, and I can't, I, I'm just so, so crazy, I get so manic sometimes, mostly I sleep. During the day I sleep, and at night I can't sleep, I just... I just have these nightmares, I wake up in sweat, I talk to myself all the time, which is actually good, it helps me. Today I got these horrible blisters from these horrible shoes that I'll never wear again. And I don't know how I'm gonna walk tomorrow, but look, look at this, that is one blister, and that's just from wearing shoes for one fucking hour and I got that and it hurts like hell and I'm done with these things I'm done with materialistic things I can't do it anymore I can't I, I just I'm just I'm just a person who wants to live peacefully in the forest in the cottage just painting live my life and just you know, I don't want to care about how I look. I don't want to care about how I present myself to people. That's horrible. I hate that. I hate that. I'm not like that. And this society is making me be like that. And I'm not conforming, believe me. But the pressure is big. I just can't see any reason to go on. I'm trying and this is the most depressing video after my mom's death probably but I just want to be with my mom and there is no other way there's no other way but or wait and just go naturally or just wait to you know, go by some disease or something, I don't know what's gonna happen, or just, I don't know, go to, I don't know where, Netherlands or whatever, wherever euthanasia is legal, and just try to do something there, I would sell everything to do that, and I know you think I'm stupid, but you know, I am mentally drained and there is nobody that will help me and yeah you know what never mind forget about everything I don't care anymore 
this was all in vain. I mean, I, I just, I just, I just talk out loud. I just hear myself talk and I'm thinking how stupid I am. But if you were in my shoes just for one day, you would run because you don't know what's going on in my mind. My art, I, I don't even care about it anymore. I do live from it and I am an artist and people do know about me, but I'm nobody. You know when people will know about me when I'm gone, then people will say, oh, we knew him, he was a good painter, oh yeah. Then everybody will come with their paintings and say, yeah, I got his painting. But you know what? Fuck them because I don't sign my paintings unless I sell them in my studio, which is good. So you will have my art without my signature. I'm talking to people who bought it and you got nothing. <laughs> And I know that's mean, but I really do mean that. I'm really, I'm really starting to get into the episode of manic depression right now because I would just throw things in people's heads and just bash their heads to the wall. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm just so angry inside, and I just want to uh, scream and punch, punch myself in the head, or just I don't know, just bang my head into the wall, I don't know. Oh, how I hate myself, guys. I hate this. Look at this, how can anybody like this? Only my mom loved me. I love you guys and I'm sorry. Talk to you tomorrow probably with a sorry video, but I'm not sorry, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, have a nice evening. Bye.